Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix Ford and Lincoln vehicles right the first time. When diagnosing a possible modular variable cam timing or VCT concern, mechanical failure can be a factor, so you need to check a couple of areas thoroughly. First, take a close look at the solenoid. When testing, make certain there are no physical or electrical issues affecting VCT solenoid functionality. Physical issues can be caused by lack of maintenance, and they can affect internal solenoid capability. A simple test to check VCT solenoid function is to provide fused power directly to the VCT solenoid. Then provide a temporary ground. Listen for an audible click from the solenoid as ground is applied. Also, monitor engine performance. If the solenoid actuates, idle quality will change. Only electrical solenoid concerns or circuit-related issues can set the diagnostic trouble code, or DTC P0010 or P0020 in the powertrain control module, or PCM. Check to make sure there are no power or ground-related issues, and check the electrical connections at the solenoid and potentially at the PCM. Another important area to check for signs of mechanical failure is the VCT phaser itself. If the phaser is internally compromised, it can cause issues with cold start drivability, idle quality, engine noise, and while driving. Don't forget to check for signs of a lack of maintenance, such as sludge or metallic debris that could impact the VCT phaser's performance under a variety of driving conditions. You may need to visually inspect the VCT phaser indicator fingers on the left and right heads. There are five indicator fingers on the VCT phaser. The odd finger should be directly over the letter L on the VCT sprocket while in its normal resting state. If the indicator finger is rotated too far clockwise from the letter L, damage during installation or reinstallation could have occurred during the torque to yield sequence. See our Tech Talk video on VCT phaser installation for more details. If the VCT indicator finger is too far counterclockwise, sludge or debris could be inside the VCT phaser, causing an under-rotation. Look carefully for any electrical DTCs, such as PO340 and PO345. These electrical circuit DTCs can be set by other issues within the VCT system, such as low oil pressure, oil bleed off, restrictions in the lubrication circuit, and damaged VCT components. In these instances, the VCT system PID may show open loop, disabling the VCT system, making it difficult to diagnose the root cause. You may need an IDS oscilloscope to understand what the concerns are. If there are no issues with lack of maintenance, oil pressure, bleed off, or restrictions affecting VCT system function, it may be necessary to take the vehicle to a local Ford or Lincoln dealer or visit MotorCraftService.com to address these issues. You can always be sure that your MotorCraft oil filters will fit and operate properly in a Ford engine with no danger of drain back or other filtration issues. MotorCraft oil filters help protect against engine wear by screening out abrasives such as carbon, sand, dust, and bits of metal before they can get into your engine. A MotorCraft filter removes particles as small as 20 microns or less than the third of the diameter of a human hair. MotorCraft oil filters are available for all Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury gasoline engines and for Ford Power Stroke diesel applications. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that MotorCraft parts feature a two-year, unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Thanks for watching, and check out the rest of our series of installation and repair tips for Ford and Lincoln vehicles. For more information on Ford or MotorCraft parts, contact your Ford or Lincoln dealer or distributor, or visit FordParts.com.